Good day and welcome to this quick tip on using the compositor only in Blender. Basically what that means is we are not using any render layers, we are skipping rendering a 3D scene, we are only using external footage to composite with. Um, as you can see it actually does work. Let's say you want to make a change. It doesn't change immediately in the sequencer, there you have to just refresh it. Let's turn this up all the way, blur size up, and see refresh, see it shows up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be showing you how to implement this technique. I think you will be pleasantly surprised at how simple this is. So, let's get started. Now upon opening Blender, you do find that you have a few objects in your default scene, whether that be a camera and a sun or just a cube. I want you to take the first step, select everything in the scene and delete it. Now I want you to go under your render settings. Make sure your resolution is and your frame rate is set to the footage that you want to composite. Otherwise Blender will not automatically adjust this for you because it works on a frame by frame basis. If you go under post processing, you will find that compositor and sequencer is usually not ticked depending on your default settings. I want you to make sure that both are ticked. I want you to close that again. You can set your output if you want to. Freestyle will absolutely not be required on this. Let's go into our render layer settings. These will pretty much be ignored for the render. If you want to, you can also remove the world, but it's really not necessary in the first place. Okay, now that we have absolutely nothing, this is what happens when you try to render. It says no camera found in scene. This is a precaution. You don't have to delete everything in your scene, but if you do not, you run the risk of actually rendering something. Okay, now I want you to, if you have set up all your settings here, I want you to go into your video sequence editor after you've set up your frame amount as well. And I want you to add your scene, the scene that you just cleared out. The compositor works through the scene. Let's open that. As you can see, it sees absolutely nothing in the compositor. It's clean. So what I want you to do now is I want you to open this part up and I want you to close any other windows that you are not using at the moment. And this will be our compositing section. Now for this demonstration, I'm just going to use a few basic effects so we won't need any of these. We definitely do not need a render layer. So what I want you to do is I want you to add some footage. This you do by going Shift A to um, add, or you can go down here. And you can see under input, there's multiple images, image sequence, render layers, image, movie clip, etc. So I'm going to be using a movie clip. Goodness, we have a picture here, okay. Now let's say output viewer, because we want to see what we are working with. If you want to press N to open this window at the side, this panel, and just reduce your zoom size so you can actually see what's going on. There we go, see? Now if you move along and you refresh the sequencer, you see absolutely nothing, and the reason is, it's not plugged into the composite node. Now if you refresh, see? There it is. Now as you can see here, it's been cut down to about here. And the reason that is, is because that the footage I imported is full HD and our render settings have not been set to full HD. So if you were to do that, you scale this up, you saw the frame size increase. So even this relative setting is not relative when it comes to the compositor and rendering compositing only. Okay, as you can see, it's very simple. Now all we do is we add whatever effects that we need. Let's say we just want to really blur this thing into an unrecognizable state. So let's say, I'm gonna make like 50. Let's give it a few seconds, add that. I think 50 may have been a bit excessive. Let's try five instead. 
Okay, let's just move it on a frame. There we go. See, already refreshed in here. Okay, let's say we are happy with this and we want to render it out. Let's set an output here that goes like video blurred. Remember, you still have the option of rendering out to a frame sequence if you want to, but in this case, I'm just going to render it to Og Video using Og Theora. Now, the default settings should do the trick. Anti aliasing is very important for higher quality video. And let's give that a render. Now, all you need to do is you press animation and you will see that it literally skips the 3D scene. See, there you go. If you want to view it a little bit more stable, just select view a node over there and you can see. And that's basically it for this quick tip. Um, I hope that this enables you to use Blender for mainly compositing as well um, in post processing. This is definitely a useful um, technique God has showed me, and I am super glad that I get to share this with you like the day after I learned how to do this. So, have a lovely day. God bless.